Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I use the Kelly Baker Brow products. But first of all, I just want to say thank you so much Kelly for posting the giveaway with me on Instagram about a month ago and for providing all the goodies. It was so much fun and I just want to say congratulations to the winners and thank you so much to Joe's who participated and entered and all that stuff. And I just want to say thank you all so much for all the love and support that you guys give me and Kelly and me. Yeah, so anyway, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you two different ways on how to use the Kelly Baker Brow products. So if you want to learn, please keep on watching. I'll be using brow powder in ash brown, a magic stick highlighter, and it suits any skin type. Here I have a dual spoolie and angled brush. And another tool we're going to use is a flat edge smudger brush. And last thing we're going to need is a brow gel and all products are from Kelly Baker Brows. Let's start it off with clean and groomed eyebrows. And thank you Kelly for personally grooming mine. <laughs> I normally do my eyebrows first, I just didn't want my eyes to look dead for this video, but I guess this is for you ladies that does their eyebrows last. So let's get started. Grab your spoolie brush and brush up your brow hair to see natural shape. Next, take your brow powder, ash brown or blonde, whichever you may have, and with an angled brush, dip it in the powder gently. Remember, a little goes a long way. Start outlining your eyebrows like so and you want to brush it again to soften the powder. So we're going to keep repeating the same steps till you achieve your desired coverage. The Kelly Baker Brow Powder is highly pigmented so go easy on your application. I'm pretty satisfied with the coverage, so let's move on to the next step. So grab the Magic Stick Highlighter. Outline your brow bone following the natural shape of your brows. Now grab your flat edge smudger brush. Blend the highlighter using a fanning motion like so and follow it all the way across and bring down any excess product. As you can see, I lifted my brow a little to create an arch. So this step is optional. So again, bring down any excess product. For the top of your brows, you don't have to apply the Magic Stick Highlighter. You can actually use the rest of the product on the brush just to clean up any imperfections. So to blend the rest of the highlighter, you can actually use your finger. Or you can use any blending brush to remove the line of demarcation. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and apply the brow gel, following the natural growth of your brow hair. Here's another way of applying Kelly Baker products. As you can see, my right eyebrow has less hair and has a weird shape to it. So let's start to highlight underneath the brow line, following the natural shape of the brows and grab your smudger brush to create a guideline. This is a great technique if you don't know where to start shaping your brows. So do this by doing a fan-like motion. This would really help you to create a defined look but still look very natural. So after applying it all the way across, go ahead and bring down any excess product and blend. So like what we did for the other eyebrow, go ahead and use any finger to blend out the products 
and or use a blending brush to remove any harsh line. And once again, you're going to do the same step. Take your brow powder and with an angled brush, dip it in the powder gently and start filling in your eyebrows. And for me, I do have a big gap or should I say I don't have any hair on the tail part of this eyebrow. So I really like to focus on the tail part on this brow. So take the spoolie again and kind of just brush off any excess product. And for the last step, go ahead and take your brow gel and pretty much just set the look. And one last thing, I always do this to check if my brows are even. So I tilt my head back like so. This way I can see both brows clearly. And I pretty much just go over it with a smudger brush to clean any imperfection. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll post all the products down below and all the links to her website, my website, and all that stuff. So don't forget to read everything down below. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Bye.